friends, how is everyone today? I hope everyone is having a great Wednesday. I know it's kind of cloudy and cold outside right now, which is kind of a bummer. I hope everyone is, you know, staying good and healthy during this quarantine and hopefully finding some of our content that we're putting out here on our Facebook page. Super helpful, relevant, helping them keep the days busy, you know, finding things for the kids to do, doing yoga um, with Miss Erin to try and just, you know, keep our mental health good and all of that good stuff. So today, what we're doing in our how to, oh, before we actually get started on that, I am Miss Jill. For those of you that don't know me, haven't tuned in, I am going live every Wednesday at four o'clock to show you something how to do. Um, it's usually an upcycled type of craft. I am a children's librarian at the Erlinger branch of the library. Um, I do lots of stuff with littles up through teens and tweens and do things for adults sometimes too. I like to work with everyone. All right, friends, so now what we're going to do today is do some fun activities with chalk. Super easy to do. It can be with any kind of chalk. I looked for the littler, like the chalk you use on like a chalkboard. Um, parents watching know what those are. Kids watching, you probably don't have chalkboards at school anymore, but your parents will know what those are. But I was able to find just a regular thing of sidewalk chalk here. Um, I found this at my local Target when I was out getting some necessary groceries already. So some of this stuff, if you don't have, um, you know, if you have a few extra dollars to spend on a craft item, next time you're out at Walmart, Kroger, Target, whatever store you shop at, um, see what, what you can pick up. You know, they have tape, glue, things like that. So you can hopefully pick something up if you're able. Um, I'm trying really hard though to just upcycle everything with things most of us probably already have on hand. Everything we're doing today, even though I'm using chalk, you could use crayons, markers, colored pencils, colored pens, really anything that you want. So a couple of examples of things that we're doing with chalk today are, we did post an example of this on our Facebook page um, earlier in the month. You can check that out. Um, Miss Gina posted that, I mean, believe it's her children. But I've seen this all over where it's DIY chalk art like this. You can do this on your sidewalk, on your driveway. I've seen people doing it on fences, on the sides of houses, but you can also make it an indoor activity. You're like today the weather's not super nice. I don't want to be outside drawing with chalk, so you can take it inside. I'll show you how to make a beautiful art drawing like this. This is good for littles, but also the older kids would like something like this too. They can make whatever design they want. I will also show you how to make fun designs like this as well as adding some water to your chalk and doing some fun things with it that way. Now for our first example, this sort of geometric art. Um, you can use this on canvases as well. If you have paint at home, you can do this right there on a canvas. The best thing to use is painter's tape for things like this because it peels off very easily. I didn't have any painter's tape at home. So what I did, this is once again, you know I love to upcycle just any sort of cardboard box we have from maybe a cereal, fruit snacks, oatmeal, whatever you might have. Miss Jill eats a lot of cereal. This is the cereal box. This is the back side of it. Then with the other side, this looks a little wonky right now, but I, let's see if I can probably, I probably can't line this up again. Here we go. I cut the other side of the boxes up in different size strips, one at a time, made a design that I thought looked kind of cool and then I taped it together. So it's super easy and simple. You just need an empty cereal box, scissors, and tape. So like I said, I cut one side of the box into various strips and just laid them out over my empty box however I wanted it to look. I taped them on with just little bitty pieces of tape that way I could peel it off. Um, I did tape them all together, but I found it helpful to put a few pieces of tape on the other side, especially on the not as stable pieces. Otherwise, when you're coloring, it's going to move around a little bit and you aren't going to have those crisp lines that we're really going for. But this is art, so really however it looks is totally fine. I say be as creative as you want to be. If you mess up, there's no mess ups. There's no mistakes in art. It's okay. You can make it work. I promise. Chalk is super easy to work with. It's pretty forgiving. This one here, it's probably kind of hard to see, but I still have some little like dusties on there and I made this a few days ago, but you can really easily just kind of brush it off. It'll get a little bit neater, but from far away, you can't tell at all. If you want chalk to stay easier on um, a piece of paper, cardboard, whatever you have on hand, if you put some hairspray over it, it'll make it stay a little bit better. So then you have a fun piece of art you can hang up on your wall, on the refrigerator, you could frame it if you really want to. It could be a really cool piece of art and then you could tell everyone how you made it. You could keep it up for years, tell them that you did it during the quarantine. 
So you can do that, like I said, on any sort of recycled box, paper. Chalk looks really, really cool on black paper. So if you have any black paper on hand, you should definitely give that a try. Our next chalk activity we have today are little stencils that you take chalk and draw all around like that. So I just had a circle stencil that I just freehand drew, cut out, and a heart did the same thing. You can make whatever shape you want though. Make it be like a geometric pattern, make it the letter of your name, something super fun. All I did with those, I will show you how to do this one here. So here I have my heart. And what you do is you take your empty cardboard. Let me get my chalk open and out. There we go. So I am going to use, Miss Jill really loves pink, so we're going to use pink for this one. Now I just held the heart when I did it the first time, but today I'm going to put a little bit of tape on there. I think it could really help to hold it in place better, especially maybe for your littles, but that's a lot for them to do at once. So I'm just going to, I just rolled up a piece of this regular old scotch tape, stuck it on the back. There we go. It's stuck to my cardboard now. So now you just take your chalk. Let's see, get up close here and you just, this is hard to do with it not on a table, but you just rub along like that. And you'll do it all the way around. On my example that I showed you, my pre-made example, I used two different colors. You can really blend chalks together super easily, um, which makes for really cool design, really cool patterns. You can sort of mix and match colors. And the cool thing about chalk is that it doesn't necessarily blend together like paint. So instead of getting necessarily a brand new color like with paint, you sort of get a nice cool blend of the colors. Now, the one thing I will say about the chalk here is there's a bunch of chalk dust on here. So you maybe don't want that all over your floor or your table or whatever. So I have an empty bag here. I'm just going to brush mine on and I'll just wipe this into the garbage later. So there I have one color all around my chalk. Now I'm going to use green because I also like green. I think green and pink together look really awesome. Also, I'm loving how green everything is outside. I wish the weather were a little bit warmer so I could get outside and take some of those walks that everyone is recommending during the quarantine. Still trying to do it, but when the weather's not very nice, I just don't like to. All right, so there I have my green on there. I'm gonna pop that green off as well. So now this is what it looks like. I know that might be a little bit hard to see. And then it's super easy. You just take your heart, my tape stayed on the back, do it like that blow it off a little bit. There I have a completed heart. Now I do have some of those little dusties on there like I mentioned earlier. And I'm just gonna take a paper towel. You could use your finger as well, but I'm just gonna try and keep my hands, they're already kind of chalky, so I don't wanna smear more chalk and keep my hands a little bit cleaner. So there, it's a little bit more cleaned up as you can see. Now if you wanted to really expand it, you could go all the way out across your entire thing. You could make it a whole rainbow. It could look super cool. And you can do whatever shapes you want, like I said. Like here I had a circle, so I sort of made it like a sunshine smiley face. I used a nice bright yellow. Now, the next cool thing that I personally really like to do with chalk is if you add just a little bit of water. Now you can make chalk paint, which I don't have an example of today, but to do that, you just like grind up chalk and then add some water to it, stir it up until it's the consistency you want, then you can use it as paint on paper or outside on your sidewalk, then it can just wash away. It's super cool and fun. You can do that with the bigger things of sidewalk chalk, but I didn't have a hammer nearby. These are much larger pieces, so a little bit harder to break up. I do think the chalk paint is easier to make with the smaller, more like chalkboard in a school type of chalk. Um, you can find that though, and most stores just like the outside chalk. So if you don't have any on hand, you can maybe try and get some. But what you can do if you don't want to destroy an entire piece of chalk or even try and cut it or whatever, you can just dip the end of your chalk. Here's an example of a flower I made. See how the colors are super vibrant? It'll make the colors really bright. I love to do this once again on black paper. I just think it shows up super well. Here's my empty box. But I didn't have black paper on hand and I'm trying really hard, like I said, to use things that you all will already have in your homes already that you don't have to get out any more than you have to. You don't have to, you know, buy extra supplies that maybe you don't want to spend money on, things like that. So here, I didn't cut this very well. This is just for my example. You would maybe want to trim up your box so it looks nice. Just for the sake of, you know, my example though, I'm not too concerned with how it looks on the outside edges. 
So here I have a glass of water. Here's my piece of chalk. I just dipped it in. I dipped it in maybe a little bit more than what I wanted to, but that's okay. It's gonna dry, no big deal. You take your chalk, dipped in water, and then when you draw, it'll look a little bit dark at first, but then it gets a little bit brighter. It makes the chalk nice and smooth, and the best part is it all sort of stays compacted. You don't get those little dusty chalk pieces like we did on this one. It all stays much more stuck together. You can do whatever doodles you want. It's really, really fun to watch the design go from dark to sort of a little bit lighter, but it really stays a little bit more vibrant once it finally dries. One of my favorite things to do with this in the library is use some extra super fine glitter. I don't have glitter at home. I know lots of you probably have glitter-free homes. I know many people don't really like to bring glitter in because it'll you'll just never get rid of it, but you can dip your chalk in some water and then dip it in some super fine glitter. And then when you put it on your paper, it'll be a nice glittery chalk picture and it's super cool and pretty. Once again, I like to do it on black paper and make like galaxy pictures. It's super awesome and fun. Leave your chalk out. I'm not gonna put it back in my box right now. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit just cause it'll dry out faster. And then if you have multiple pieces that are wet, they might get all mushed together. And we don't really want that. So you can just leave them out to dry. It won't take long and you just put them away and then you can use them just like normal dry chalk or you can re-wet them and use them again. All right, my friends, that is all of our time today. I will be back again next week at four o'clock going live, showing you how to. We have videos going live almost every single day of the week. You should be sure to tune in. You can check our Facebook page, our events page for um, when those events are going live. I believe they might be on our website as well. Um, www.kittenlibrary.org. We have lots of things going on, lots of resources on there. You can check out our eBooks and movies and digital music. And we have all sorts of resources for you to use while you're at home quarantined. Maybe some of the boredom is maybe starting to set in a little bit and you're looking for some new things to read or do. You should definitely check out all of the things that we have to offer during this time. Next week on Wednesday is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So we're gonna be once again doing some upcycled things because we wanna be good to the earth and good to the planet and reuse as much as we can, especially to celebrate our great planet here. See you next week, friends. Bye.